Welcome back, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. For those of you who don't know, my name is Larry Gilkey. I am the author of the book Convicted, A True Story, My Life After Death. And today I want to talk to you um, um, a spinoff of part four, which um, entails my uh, testimony about how I um, um, sold my soul to the devil, killed my friend, and went to prison all at the age of 18. If you haven't seen part one through four, you might wanna go back and check those out. But today I wanna to talk to you about um, my encounter with a demonic force inside my home. True story, that is right, you heard it. A demonic force that was inside my home that I had no clue or idea that it was there. And it had been causing uh, um, chaos in between my marriage, my me, my kids, everything. I didn't even know it was there. So we're gonna get into the story right now. Well, um, what led up to this? This was during the time when uh, the Holy Spirit had told me to study Lester Summerall's ministry. Like I said, I, I never, I didn't know who Lester Summerall was. I didn't, I had heard his name, but I hadn't heard any of his sermons or nothing like that. And the Holy Spirit told me this to study him. This was during the time that he was teaching me about generations and how we supposed to move and operate through generations, not just with the world, how the world does it with, but also in the body of Christ. I did a video about that. I'll try to link it after this video about generals of this generation. So, um, I had been studying all this stuff, man. Three or four weeks of just taking in everything Lester Summerall had to say about demons and deliverance and things of that nature. And during that time, my wife was had, had said uh, her closet. She she had heard something in her closet, and she had checked and she had looked, and she was like, she thought one of the kids was in there playing. But when she looked, there was nothing in there. And she was like, okay. Then it happened again. And she she saw, um, she heard something in the closet. She looked in there, nothing was there. She she saw clothes and stuff kind of dangling around. But, you know, she, she, and she had told me about it, but I kind of just, you know, wiped it off. Like, you know, okay, whatever. And I never thought no more about it. Now, one then uh several nights later i remember she she uh woke up and she had told me about how something felt like it was pressing on top of her and she couldn't move and she was paralyzed like a night paralysis and now I, i'm familiar with that because a long time ago that stuff had happened to me several several occasions and i remember my mother when it happened to me one time she told me to just call out the name of jesus because that was like some demonic force that was trying to sit on top of me and just call out the name of jesus so i whenever that happened to me that's what i would do and i told her you know she about that that my mother had told me and then the next night or so it happened to me and this this force came and it set on top of me and I'm like, you know, in the name of Jesus, I'm calling out Jesus name. But this time it was a little different because I had been studying about less to, about demonic forces and, and things. And, and so I knew what that was. And I remember, um, when I called out the name of Jesus, I felt this cold sensation just roll off of me. Right. And so I immediately, I jumped up, I ran out the, 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 the bedroom and I started you know, speaking in the spirit. I started praying over my house and praying here and praying there and, and calling things out. And that was that on that. So maybe a, a few nights later, my wife woke up with this terrible headache. I mean, she would get migraines here and there, but this one was different. She woke up and I, I could feel, I could hear her like, you know, just going through suffering. And she, she grabbed me and I, I looked over and and she was just real in real bad shape. And I began to pray and I began to to uh, speak the word. And, and as I was speaking the word, I began to, um, you know, rebuke whatever was in the house and whatever was trying to come on her. And I remember this, the, 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 a voice, which was a demonic voice. And I know 
that's what it was, telling me, if you don't take her to the hospital, she gonna die and it's gonna be on you. You better take her to the hospital, take her to the hospital or she's gonna die and it's gonna be on you. And I was like, I'm not, I'm, I'm about to speak this word. I'm getting all this word in me. I've been listening to all of Lester Summerall. I'm like, no, I'm about to speak this word. We about to pray. And I'm, I'm, I, I started praying and I started um, pleading the blood of Jesus. And I started singing hymns and singing songs um, uh, about the blood. I just made up. I just started making up songs and just singing them and, and saturating the atmosphere and walking around the room. And then eventually she, she went to sleep. Now as she went to sleep, I can remember getting up and going to the restroom and our how our, our bedroom is is, is big is you you walk into a, you got to walk through a hallway to get to our bathroom and so I, I walked in and, and in the hallway you got her closet on one side and my closet on the other side now when I walked into the bathroom I didn't pay attention that her light was on in her closet but when I came back out of the bathroom my my eyes just fixed on her closet and and it just like I, I saw I, it just like I just fixed on it and I saw I looked in there and there was a, a amulet like in there just swinging and just dangling and I, immediately I like just in the sp I just knew what it was and, and my, I, my, I went in there and I grabbed it and as I grabbed it it started pulsating in my hand like ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom and and I, so, like I said, I've been studying. I had been studying, so I knew what it was, and I grabbed it, and I took it, and I went, and I took, and I threw it outside of um, in, the, in my backyard. And I said, I'll deal with you later. So I went back in, I started praising and worshiping and, and, and speaking over my, my room and over my, my house. And then, at that point, God started speaking to me. The Holy Spirit started showing me how Many of uh, God's people are in bondage and they, they living with things like just like that in their home. Now, this amulet had came all the way from Haiti. This had been in my house for 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 a couple years, years or so. When we took a trip to, uh, to Haiti in the Bahamas and we brought little amulets back. I didn't, we didn't know that these had some type of demonic um, um, witchcraft or whatever was in them. We didn't know that. We brought it into our house and put it into our house. And, and the Holy Spirit showed me like how many people in the body of Christ are held down and afflicted by things just like this in their home and they don't even know it. They don't even know it. And then God started pouring out to me and showing me how, you know, he feels about his children. And he, he started showing me how he looked at us as the body of Christ as like kids and we on this 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 uh, uh um a playground and the the devil is like a bully that's just beating us up and pounding on us and and hitting us and and taunting us and God you know it's like you have a child let's let's put it in perspective from you that's watching this let's say you who's watching this you have a child and you know that if you have a child and you see your child out there being beat up and bullied on in the street and you sitting there and you watching it and you know that your child has every all the power and authority that they 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 can muster up to defeat that that bully and to beat that bully up but there's nothing you can do your hands are tied you can't say nothing you can't go out there and help you can't do nothing you just feel helpless while your child is getting beat up and that's how God sees us sometimes as his body, as a body of Christ, as his children. We, 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 we sit there and we wrestling with this bully and the bully is Satan and he's beating on us and, and taunting us and doing these things. And, and God is like, y'all got all the power and ability to, to stomp him, to, to beat him. He's nothing to y'all. Y'all have all authority all over him. All y'all gotta do is just tell him to move and get up and go and get out of here. And God feel helpless and he showed me this and it was like when he when he showed it to me how he feel helpless about his children that's that's in bondage. So many of us, even in the body of Christ, are in bondage and we don't even know it. And, and he poured that out to me. He just gave me a glimpse of how he feel and it touched me so so hard, man. It just I I, I, I like I just kind of started crying because I started just feeling what God felt, just a little taste of it. And I was like, Lord, you know, I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry. Like, I'll go. I'll go. Like, send me, Lord. Send me. I'll go. I'll speak. I'll, I'll teach. I'll preach. I'll do it. And um, 
so then I just started praising and worshiping and and um, he showed me where that amulet had been causing so much division in my home over them years. Me and my wife was always at odds. Um, like she would, uh, we, we couldn't see, if she wanted to go, if I wanted to go left, she wanted to go right. If I wanted to go right, she wanted to go left. I mean, it was just real, really bad in our house. And my kids, you know, they were had been under attack. He started taking me back and showing me different places where they was under attack. Where my little five year old daughter had had certain dreams about some lady, and they were seeing things in the house. And I, you know, I, I just kind of looked past that stuff. I wasn't thinking about it. And I'll share some more of those stories too, um, as a, a, you know, in different videos. But. Just little things like that, man. We got to be mindful of the body of Christ. Like we have to know who the enemy is. And God was showing me, see, when you don't know your enemy, the knowledge that you don't have is the knowledge that he uses against you every time. When you don't know his tactics, when you don't know how he operates, it's things in people's homes that they got um, that they don't even know that channels demonic forces into their homes. I know some people, they don't want to hear this. They don't want to hear me talk about this. They don't even want to even think or imagine it could be something like that in their homes, causing things like that. But it is, and you have to, that's why God wants to teach his children about about the kingdom of darkness so that we know so we can stand against those things praise god so um to make a long story short the next day i went out and or actually it, it, I, a couple of few days passed by but i went out and i burned that thing i put it in in put it on um uh, uh, a little makeshift uh uh, fire pit that I made and I burnt that thing and after that man my house over a period of time my house just every me and my wife began to get along actually me and my wife now we hadn't saw eye to eye on a lot of things in many years and after that man she even began to listen to Miles Monroe and we began to get on the same level of the kingdom of God. We began to start understanding together. She was starting to understand what I had been, um, what had been being fed into my system, the kingdom of God. She started beginning to get a revelation of it. So now me and her began to work together. We began to, to be on the same level. I had prayed for that and prayed for that all so many years for that day right there when me and my wife could be like one, where we could be operate and move together in a kingdom way. Praise God, man. I, listen, man, I'm going to tell you just like just about that right there, man. I want to get the old religious of me, the rich religious guy of me back and jump up and run around the room three or four times and hop and hula and hallelujah. Glory, glory. I, that's what I want to do right now. But, you know, uh, so, yeah, that that was that's 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 a, a, a little story um, about my experience with um, a demonic one demonic force but i had many of them as if you didn't heard my my testimony from other videos but and i'll share some more even like with my my children how the enemy had come uh, uh against my children because one thing you gotta understand when you begin to understand about the kingdom of god the enemy is gonna try to come in and take that seed away he's gonna try to make sure that you don't know about the kingdom of god he's gonna try to make sure you don't know who you are in the kingdom of god he's gonna try to make sure that you don't understand about your citizenship he's gonna try to do that he's gonna try to do everything he's gonna come against you in different ways until you understand fully of who you are Praise God. Well, I know this has been long. I'm going I'm to end it right here. And until the next time that I come with something else, praise God. Um, if anybody need any prayer or you want to um, know anything more or you want to hear about some things, leave it in the comment below. 
I'll be more than happy to answer it. I'll be more than happy to, to give you more insight on anything that you want to know about. Praise God. I love you. Be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen.